Item Number SCP-3863 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Containment of SCP-3863 is deferred to Group of Interest 466, Wilson's Wildlife Solutions, as per the Boring Agreement. Instances of SCP-3863-1 are to be milked twice daily by personnel who are not allergic to bees. Hosts suitable for SCP-3863 instances are to be provided to Wilson's personnel in observance of hatching events. Description SCP-3863 is a species of honeybee similar to Apis mellifera, which form a symbiotic relationship with mammals. SCP-3863 will burrow a sizable hole through the skin, flesh, and eventually stomachs or smaller intestines of affected subjects hereafter referred to as SCP-3863-1. Once inside, SCP-3863 will construct masses of hexagonal prisms similar to honeycombs within the host's digestive system. Despite this, instances do not appear to suffer pain or other negative side effects. Following the construction of an initial hive, SCP-3863 will continue to behave as non-anomalous bees and collect pollen and nectar. Following infestation, SCP-3863-1 instances will no longer need to consume their usual dietary material and are instead sustained primarily by a mixture of honey and nectar. Though SCP-3863-1 becomes sterile post-infection, their udders will engorge as if they were feeding offspring. SCP-3863-1 instances require milking in a process similar to non-anomalous livestock. The substance produced is a viscous, dark orange semi-liquid chemically identical to honey though it possesses nearly triple the normal quantity of the nutritional mineral iron. This substance possesses no anomalous properties aside from its origin. The Foundation has permitted Wilson's Wildlife Solutions to harvest and sell SCP-3863-1 byproduct within the Three Portlands area. Please contact Group of Interest 466 Liaison Roger Tarpan for additional information. Hatching Events Hatching events occur between 11 and 13 months of the infestation of an SCP-3863-1 instance and are denoted by upwards of 80% of a colony's SCP-3863 instances swarming outside a host. This may last up to 72 hours, after which a queen instance will emerge accompanied by 10 to 15 drones in search of a new host. During this time, a mature dairy cow is to be introduced to the SCP-3863 containment facility and supervised from outside the enclosure until infestation takes place. Addendum List of SCP-3863-1 Instances in Containment SCP-3863-1-A Species Dairy Cow Notes Original SCP-3863 Colony found in Boring, Oregon SCP-3863-1-B Species Goat Notes Accidental Instance of SCP-3863-1 First Known Instance of Infection SCP-3863-1-C Species, Dairy Cow Notes First successful Foundation-created instance of SCP-3863-1 SCP-3863-1-D Species, Dairy Cow Notes Next instance creation is due October 10th, 2019 SCP-3863-1-E Species, Human Notes Formerly WWS employee Michael Alameda Additional accidental instance expresses mild discomfort during milking, but has not reported any other negative effects in regard to SCP-3863 or its conversion into an instance of SCP-3863-1.